welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a Christmassy vlog. So me and my partner Daniel are going to be going to a Christmas tree farm and we're going to choose our Christmas tree. So our apartment's not very big so I don't know what size we're going to choose uh, but I've never done this before. Most years, um, well actually I've never actually had a real Christmas tree in this house and growing up we never had a real Christmas tree so this is sort of a really special thing we're going to do this year. Um, I did have a Christmas tree a few years ago. It was just a very very small one though. Um, it was only a few, um, it was probably only like a metre off the ground and it was a Kmart like $20 one. So we've never actually had a proper green Christmas tree. And growing up um, in my grandma's house she always had a um, like a fresh Christmas tree from her farm and on in our house we always had a plastic one so it lasted for years <laughs> um so this year i would really love to have a christmas tree in the home because it makes it feel so christmassy and it it like brings this really nice smell into the home um and i haven't got any decorations so i've got to also go um shopping for tinsel lights and ornaments so yeah hopefully by the end of today my house will look very festive I've just been into Broadway shopping center and I got the cutest Christmas decorations. Um, look at this tinsel. Ah, is that like not the most adorable thing ever? I also got some presents for, um, we're doing silly Santa at work. So that's basically when you, everyone buys a present, they put it into the middle of like a table and then you pick out one and you open it. And if someone else likes their present, they can steal it. And then you go around and everyone picks a present and then you go around stealing presents from each other. So we decided that it would be funnier if we do like silly presents. So <clears throat> I don't, I'm only new there so I don't actually know what everyone likes. But I noticed that um, one of my colleagues likes getting her head massage. I got this little silly head massager. Um, these are apparently supposed to be like really, really good on the head. So that was like five bucks. I went to Target. Um, I also got one of this like... A little pooping reindeer for five dollars um, because I thought that's like really silly it's very Christmas themed and it would be really funny to sit on someone's um, work desk so I thought that was pretty cute um, I've seen these around before but I thought that was just like really, really silly and like a really like small cheap gift as well and I thought that's something that most people could appreciate the humor um, and then I also got this um, poopsie so it's a, um, a slime surprise. So they're adorable poop slime. Like they're in the shapes of poos, but they're, sli they're little slime things. This one's like a little bunny. This one's a pineapple. This one's a panda bear. Hopefully that focuses on that. But I thought that was really cute. And I wanted to buy something a little bit more expensive. And then obviously the cheaper gift. And then the head massage, because that's sort of practical. Um... I don't know how much that was. I think that was 15, that was 5. We had like a $30 max limit. I think this one was 5 as well. So 15, 5, 25. And then I thought I'd grab one more thing because I didn't know if everyone was going to go right up to $30. And I just grabbed a Trolls Pez because I thought like Pezzes are pretty good because they're like a, I think there's 90s kid or maybe 80s kids. But I just thought the Pezzes were really cute. So I got this little um, troll Pez. She's just the most cutest troll in the world. And everyone loves a Pez. So I got two things that are sort of food related. Obviously the more expensive one and then the thing that's sort of practical. So I thought that was a pretty good um, haul in terms of silly gifts. So I'll wrap all those up uh, this weekend. And then I also got for the Christmas tree... Um, oh, I also got these bauble pack. So I really love this bauble pack. I was going to get like a traditional one, but they didn't have any traditional ones this year. So I thought the pink ones really suited my style. And I thought that would just look beautiful with the tinsel. Um, I'm sitting in the car waiting for my partner because I've got his gym stuff in my car and he went down to Rebel Sports. Oh my goodness, my top today. 
and I think he may have been lost so I might give him a call so we can get home and it's going to be too late to go pick up the Christmas tree today because it's already five o'clock um, and I think it was closed at five so we're going to do that we're going to go get the tree first thing tomorrow morning um, so hopefully we'll get a good one. Alrighty, so we're back home now, um, and I've got all my Christmas stuff set up to start wrapping presents. Um, so I've got the few presents here, and then I've also got, um, the Kiki K Papers Lovers, Paper Lovers book from last Christmas. So that's full of lots and lots of really cool things to wrap my presents with. Um, I've also got some little baubles here, some twine. This twine's from um, Ikea. I've also got a few little bits and pieces to put on the um, craft paper wrap. Um, this one's also from Ikea. And then these wrapping papers here are from Ikea as well. finally finished wrapping that present it took me like an hour I put so much effort into it um, oh my goodness someone is just screaming out that window I think there's a couple having a massive argument because they were screaming at the top of their lungs and I can still hear them screaming but I'll show you the finished product so I just ended up um, crafting on the brown paper bag because I thought I was just going to leave it blank and then it was really, really blank. So I was like, oh, I may as well make it a little bit pretty. So I put a bow on the top and I was like, oh, I'll, I'll put a few stickers around. And then I found a little postcard. So I was like, I'll pop that on. And then I ended up just decorating the whole thing. So <laughs> I couldn't stop at one thing. So this is what the final product is. I'll give you, I'll show you now. So... I put a little Merry Christmas postcard stickers and then at the top I've got this really cute bow. So that's my little bag all done. And this was just a bag I got from a store when I bought something. So um, I can hear Dan in the background. All right, I'm going anyway. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Christmas tree farm! Yes! Oh, there's lots of people in their Christmas trees. Oh, look, Dan! What? Everyone's picking out their Christmas tree. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> we get a blue white streamer 
Huh? Choose your tree and tie your streamer into a pretty bow. Find Ron or Jack and get a prize. Take price card to Barbara and then pay before you go. Did you hear that? Oh, I'm so excited. Are you looking, Danny? Yeah. Oh, that one looks nice. Too little. Can you hold this? Just straight. Oh, what about this one? Do you like this one? No, it's too little. It's my height. We need to find one that has a nice, even... Um... Oh, that one just there is actually quite nice. Although I don't like the top. Another one? Danny, don't be silly. Where, where are we going to put it? Where's this tree going? Oh, in their unit. Yeah, Oh, just next to the TV? Is it going in the middle of the room? Nah, nah. nah. Oh, yeah, that's true. I mean, what, what were you born in yesterday? Sorry? What were you born yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> Have fun. Thank you. We'll call you over soon. Done. Sold. Right, we found it. Although there is a bit of a hole here, Dan. I don't know if I like that hole. Although if we had it more on this angle, it would be better. This one's a really nice one though, Dan. Do you reckon it's too big for our apartment? Oh, that's easy, Dan. Yeah. Dan, don't break any of the, the branches. Oh, it's going to run across the road. So we're just trying to find a pot for our Christmas tree um, and we're just at the pot shop so I need to find something that's going to hold it up, um, preferably something like maybe like a concrete one or something like that. There's also chickens here so I'll show you the chickens, I love them, they're so cute. Babies in the corner. Alright, so we just got home and I just got a kilo of, probably like two kilos of sand from the beach. So, so heavy. How many kilos do you reckon this was, Dan? Ten. Ten. That is the final Christmas tree all decorated. We finally got into the home. Um, I'm so happy that the pots held it up really nicely. So all I put in was sand. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of water. Um, and it's just white, pink baubles all over. And then I few, put a few little red ones around as well. Um, and obviously there's really beautiful decorations that I got from Typo. I wish I got more of those. I might collect some more next year. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog today. And I'll put a little snippet at the end of this video of it at night time. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.